you need to go into the e-learning portal and then you have a separate tab called as uh, uh, the library i'm you uh, e-library click on that and when you click on that and log in and then you have this page so you have e-journals e-books online databases uh, the manual guides etc etc you have several items inside but when you scroll up you can see something on the right side which is here uh, subject based e resources okay so this subject based e resources what is uh, the beauty inside this is you have uh, three platforms here and under each platform you have books categorized based on subjects for example you have uh, pharmaceutics you have clinical pharmacy you have uh, pharmacy practice pharmacology all right and you have chemistry etc etc under pharmacy right so under each of these subjects you will certainly have more than one particular reference books okay so this uh, very good initiative uh, by the entire team is to enable the students to spend less time in actually searching through the materials so you just click one single tab you have the books so this is going to help you to narrow down okay in what you are looking so i go inside so when you click on these search base uh, uh, page you will be able to see something like this can you see this page are you able to move along with me i am in uh, the subject uh, yes, ah, yes. okay thanks mm -hmm. thanks for the confirmation eh? all right so here you have subject based e resources Okay, under the subject based e resources, for example, uh, library is something which is common to all programs uh, in the university. All right, so uh, here you have uh, categories like uh, focus subjects focusing on medicine, okay, uh, and uh, subjects focusing also uh, uh, on pharmacy. So under the subject based e resources, you have pharmacy. So when you click on pharmacy, you can see three different uh, platforms here. All right. Access pharmacy, clinical key and Timi. All right. So each one has got uh, uh, a list under that. All right. So under these uh, three categories, first, we I would like to show you about access pharmacy. All right, so when you click on Access Pharmacy, you can see textbooks, videos, images, book chapters, etc. These are the different types of resources available under the Access Pharmacy tab. All right, so moving forward, when you click on the textbooks, just uh, as an example, the team has actually put up uh, some some uh, books related to physical pharmacy and something related to biopharmaceutics. I know that you should be uh, uh, of, you, you are already familiar with what is happening in phase um, one. Phase one in the pharmacy program is actually going to cover about the basic sciences and you will be introduced into the practice. OK, the pharmacy practice platform. And while you move towards phase two, you go into the pharmacotherapy aspects. OK, and you will be uh, going further, OK, further down or you will you will go deeper into uh, the skills development, the pharmacy skills development and how you are supposed to deal with patients. And phase three, you are going to deal with research and uh, the placement aspect. So if you see the books here, the physical pharmacy is mostly towards uh, the phase one of your B Farm program and the biopharmaceutics and kinetics is towards uh, the uh, phase three. All right. So what happens uh, if you see here this under this particular book, you can see that there are several chapters. Similarly, for uh, from biopharmaceutics, you can see that there are similar there are several chapters under it. So like that, you have pharmacy calculations, you have uh, pharmacy management, etc. So this is just an example put here, huh? but these are also part of the resources. So when you scroll down the page, the team has taken the initiative initiative to further categorize it under the different um, what what is the keywords. For example, you just click pharmacy when you click here and then you have the pharmacy related books under that particular key you will be able to find uh, books under that one. All right, just just an example. And then when you click on pharmacology. 
the books that are related uh, or having the keyword pharmacology, whether it is clinical pharmacology or whether it is uh, uh, a general pharmacology, okay, you can find those all those resources. Okay, it would have been very nice when when um, uh, this all these sort of systems were available when we we your your tutors were learning. Okay, all these things were not available. We need to rely on manual searching of books and manual copies. Now sitting at your home at at your own place, you are exposed to all these things or you are uh, made available with such enormous amount of resources. OK, and the team is working on further to further. And add on more books uh, timely based on the requirement. So like this, they have categorized. I want you to go through every individual list later. OK, uh, because of uh, the amount of time that we have, I'm restricting myself. So this is about uh, the access pharmacy and then when you go to that particular book all right you need to actually sign in all right so when you uh, click on um, i think i have signed in already and that's the reason why i'm unable to i mean it is showing as sign in so um, let me go back here so you see that So when you click uh, pharmacy, you can see that you need to log in via uh, the Shibole uh, login uh, platform. OK, you need to use that. So let me try to uh, sign out. OK, I'm signing signing out now and I'll show you how to do. OK. OK, so you will have something like this. Then you click on sign in. When you click on sign in, this is where you go sign in via the Shibole uh, road. OK, when you click on that, then you have location. You click on the Sifulan Malaysian Association or whatever it is, the Sifulan Malaysian um, option and then the institution you select International Medical University, click select. All right, so then you give your username and uh, password. Your PC username. Huh? Okay. Sorry. Okay, the, the email is not necessary. You just give your name or whichever username that you have given and then. You sign in. OK, so then it will take you. So why it is necessary for you to uh, sign in further? OK, is uh, you can you can access this anywhere, anytime, even outside IMU. All right, so then you can access the full details. You can uh, uh, save it, download it, etc. So that's a there is another option for you. You can create a personalized account. Now you are logging in through the IMU account. You can create a personalized account. So this can also be used outside IMU. I hope that you have created this already because I was told that you have been briefed about these um, during the information literacy session conducted by Mr. Rasman. If you have not done it, I would suggest that all of you create this uh, your own profile. So when you create this, you can have uh, access to all the materials other than the books. OK, all the other type of resources, for example, videos, other form of uh, picture materials, etc. All the list under that particular uh, access pharmacy um, platform. OK, so when you create it, you just click and you uh, create your own uh, personalized account. OK, create create a free my access profile. Click on that and you go into the sign in process. OK, enter it and then uh, you need to create a profile. I'm not going to create a profile now. So if you have not done this, please. Uh, I would recommend that you have a personalized account for for all the three 
platforms, Access Pharmacy, okay, or Temi, all right, or Clinical Key. So when you have this, you need not go through uh, IMU library all the time. For example, you are in some other country, you can directly Google uh, Access Pharmacy, or you can uh, Google Clinical Key, or you can uh, Google the other platform as well, and directly use your personal account and log in. You need not go through uh, IMU's uh, account every time. So that will enable you to download, okay, and also um, uh, access all the different types of resources under that and under that particular platform. Okay, so let me go to Clinical Key now. For example, ebooks, you have book chapters, okay, you have images. All right. So these images uh, would be very useful when you are going ahead um, in, in actually using some of these pictures while you want to present any information or use to or you want to prepare a PowerPoint presentation uh, with some uh, explanatory material in it. OK, so you, you have different types of resources, right? So you can uh, use the same method. Ebooks and then um, let me go into Dale's pharmacology. All right, click on login. All right, then you use the uh, IMU uh, other go to other institution account. OK, and then uh, click on the region. The C Fulan and then search for International Medical University. OK, and then you can you can access uh, all the information, all the different types of books here. You can uh, search for pharmacology again, any form of pharmacology, for example, uh, current opinion in pharmacology. All right, and then uh, you have um, details under that particular title. All right, so and you can access the PDF version. You can download the PDF version, etc. All these things are possible when you have uh, your personal account, which is uh, going to enable you to access this anywhere outside as well. All right, so this is more or less going to be uh, similar here. Ebooks, you have ebooks under Timmy, you have ebooks, images, videos, audios, okay? Okay, all these things. This, these pictures are actually very difficult to get outside uh, when you go through the You might have pictures, but you will not have the exact picture which is there available from the book. And again, the, another problem is finding the reference for that particular picture because you need to uh, give credit to the author, right? So it is very necessary that you need to always cite the reference. So when you go through this platform, you have the sources. It is very easy. You can just copy the sources and put it in your slide when you're using the picture for your illustration. OK, so you have very good pictorial representation. All right, Timmy is, is well known for that particular uh, type of images. OK. So you have pictures under all categories. You have pictures which are more closely uh, associated with the medical curriculum, and you also have pictures associated with pharmacy curriculum. All right, so you need to know which one is appropriate. As I mentioned, library is, uh, is a common platform for all programs, right? So you need to search for the ones which is necessary for your own understanding. In most of the cases, you can rely on the books itself. OK, the information which are available, the uh, for example here, the drug concentration, this sort of these pictures are actually from those books. OK, so uh, this is about uh, the the three platforms. So uh, the thing that we would want to emphasize in today's session is to sign in for your personal account under these three uh, platforms. OK and make use of the books because the, the the library team can actually detect to what extent it is being used as well and um, i i think um, i i need to mention this we had uh, 
an accreditation visit very recently if you i mean two weeks ago and that particular team really uh, appreciated the resources that we have and uh, the 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 way that our staffs have uh, discussed or briefed them about the various resources the team was very very happy and uh, that was also told uh, to the senior management during during the exit meeting so uh, all these efforts are being put up by, by the respective department is for the benefit of the students is for your uh, community the students community all right so maybe uh, sometimes we are we are not taking these sort of briefing sessions very seriously we tend to ignore it okay but you do not know uh, the usefulness of it okay they say whenever i talk to the students they say sir i'm not sure where is the resource which one to follow which one not to follow i do not have an idea where are these books is this book available that book available yes everything is available but the initiative should come from your side okay so i think i've, I've shown you more or less the same thing all the three platforms so make use of the books make use of the the video materials pictures okay all these e resources in addition to your lecture notes okay and uh, i think it is necessary for me to mention that you also uh, uh, have uh, access to the koha app okay and um, i think you have also have a uh, something called as cost reserves which has been introduced to you by rasman i'm sure that he has introduced to you so make use of the cost reserves and the cost reserves will enable you to go into the respective e resources for the respective module okay it is it is it is so difficult to actually create such such a such a kind of platform okay but but our department has done it for you guys okay so you just have to go into that respective module and you have the e-resources already okay so those e-resources will be uh, updated timely and the latest version will be made available to you so if the references are already available in the e-platform the physical copy will not be available in the library okay because you already have the e-copy there's no point having the physical copy anymore all right so this is going to be updated uh, uh, frequently and new new uh, books are going to be added whenever there is a need and whenever there is a request from the students as well as from the staff so make use of this cross cross uh, reserves make use of all these platforms to access the 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 voluminous amount of e resources which is more than sufficient for you guys okay i think uh, i've given you almost um, a brief outline if then more if, if not more than that for you to explore further I, I'm, I'm sure that you're all very much uh, IT savvy and uh, with all these online learning, you, are, you should be familiar with, with the way how you're supposed to navigate it forward. 